Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we've decided to start creating some more Unity ML Agents content going forward, and that means that we're gonna wrap up this series on Blender for AI developers. So I think this has been a really cool exploration, fun for me to create a series that was just for uh, Blender and focusing on giving you some of the basic skills you need if you wanna start creating synthetic data sets in Blender. And so I wanna do a transition and not just leave you hanging if you've been following this series. So the plan is to create a website page uh, for this content. I'm gonna put all of the different videos that were in this YouTube series, as well as a little bit of background information and probably some links to helpful resources and that will also include the course that we have. So if you have liked this series and you're really interested in creating synthetic data sets with Blender for your own projects going forward, we created a course just a couple months ago about creating synthetic data sets with Blender. So if you haven't seen that, we've got another video on our channel that we'll make sure to link to in the description but you can also get to the course information page on immersivelimit.com. There's a big courses button up at the top of the website and you can get there from there. So this course is gonna take you far beyond what this YouTube series did. It's gonna teach you how to create a synthetic data set of images for a classification problem. And that means that you create a bunch of images and you will learn to train a neural network to tell the difference between the different uh, images. That's what classification means. You're organizing the images into classes. And the cool thing is this is going to be a purely synthetic data set, meaning it's purely 3D rendered, uh, no actual photos aside from uh, if you had an interest in introducing your own uh, photos into the data set as well. That's, that's an option, but that's not something we're actually teaching in the course. But what you can do is then transfer that learning to the real world. So using purely 3D rendered data set, you can uh, detect images in the real, things in images in the real world. So it's a really cool uh, course, and I'm still super excited that it works as well as it does, and it, I think it's super valuable. So if you have any interest in that, definitely check out the course webpage. We'll put a link in the description, but you can of course get there from the website. And otherwise, I hope you're super excited about the new ML Agents content that's coming out soon. I've already recorded like at least two hours worth of content that we're gonna be posting soon to the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments.